coming up in this captain's vlog. I lose something. And I lost one. I, it fell out of my hand and I heard it bounce on the floor and now it is just gone. It's not that big of a boat. Where could it go? I find something. All right, I found it. And I set up a second monitor. So that when I'm editing, I can do, I can do two monitor editing, editing and it's a lot easier to edit. Okay, so the next thing on the list today is to mount this monitor, which is right there. I've got a monitor and it's got to go right there. So I'm going to break out the new soldering iron from Ryobi and uh, get to work. I've got these four little blocks. The plan is to drill a hole in them so that these four millimeter so these four millimeter bolts um, go all the way through and are countersunk so that they get hidden away. And then those bolts into the back of the monitor right here. And then I screw in these little clampy clamps, these little hooks onto the two top blocks. And then I got these cup hooks to go into the wall, they're brass, and uh, that should hold the weight of the monitor, hopefully. I should countersink with a, just a larger drill bit, but that's the largest drill bit I have on the boat at the moment. So I'm going to use this thing, which is specifically for making holes. Okay, so I just made four of these little blocks, countersunk them, and then I was coming down to screw them onto the back of the monitor, and I lost one. I, it fell out of my hand, and I heard it bounce on the floor, and now it is just gone. It's not that big of a boat. Where could it go? All right, I found it. It's not inside at all. It somehow bounced out as I was coming in. It's right down there. Two of those little guys. So, there we go. That's what it looks like before it goes on the wall. Now that the monitor is hung up and reasonably secure, I think it's fine. It needs um, some little like rubber feet behind it so it doesn't like uh, squeak against the wood. But it's it's pretty firm, and um, I don't know. We'll see what it's like underway. It might be horrible. Um, pretty easy just to take off. 
just hook it, you know, so I could just take it off and, and stow it away. Um, but yeah, I think that'll work. And it was super cheap, which is important. But now I've get I've got to um, do some wiring. Nice to use these boards, these like uh, top boards that I created for my storage. Can use that to drill into, so I'm not drilling into the boat or whatever. And then I just flip it back over again, and it's nice. There you go. So we are going to use the Ryobi solder. Whoa! Rocking around in the in the harbor today. Anyway, we're going to be using this uh, Ryobi soldering iron. Um, plugs into a battery and theoretically you can solder with it. So we're going to find out if that works. This is a DC to DC converter. So basically I have, this is the power supply for, um, for the monitor, which plugs into a 110 outlet. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this part right here, this cable and uh, splice in an XT60 connector and that'll plug into the other end of the connector which would be right here which is the 19 volts 2 amp output and that'll power the monitor off a 12 volt system without the need for an inverter and without the need for the 110 which is the main reason I'm doing it so I've got to solder on some connectors here onto that cable I just showed you. So we'll start with that and uh, we'll see how far I get. Okay, so a little update on the drone build here. Got everything wired together and in place. Um, if everything works, I'm gonna take this whole thing apart and do some waterproofing and whatever, so I'm not hard tying everything down just yet. But ultimately, uh, there's the video card in the back. It is the HD0 SharkBite HD video transmitter. And that's little MIPI cable right there that goes back underneath. Underneath all the way to the front is what I've been waiting for for two months from China that little that little cable right there was holding me up But I uh, got the right cable everything's in place. Everything's wired. There's my GPS unit. There's my buzzer unit um, And I'm just gonna put the top plate on it and see if it works That's what she looks like all together and running everything is beeping and shining the way it's supposed to be shining a little light right there says the GPS is functioning. That little light down there says that the uh, receiver is functioning. And that little blue light is the video transmitter. And then these guys are on the flight controller and that's fine. The buzzer is working. If I arm the quad, the motors start working, which is what you want to see. And if I give it input, Crapped out. Well, that's great. What did I do? Let me if I. Ignition off. Oh, something's up. Ignition off. Let's see if the other shit works. Um, this should be the beeper. Bombs away. No. 
arms away. Doesn't do anything. Buzzer. There's the buzzer. Ew, nasty. <laughs> so the buzzer, buzzer. works. And that's Ew, nasty. Oh no, it's working again. Uh probably lost signal. I don't know, something about being close to it. Probably lost single, had to recalibrate. So everything is functioning. The most important part is the video receiver over here. And if you can see through there, you can see that it is working. Fat shark, boom. So it functions. Uh, one more thing, if you're interested why I'm using a old GoPro case right here, it's because I haven't flown this thing yet. Um, I'll do the test flights next, but uh, the chances of uh, breaking something or losing something is pretty high. So I am just using a, a case and putting some weight in it so that it, it um, is about the same weight as the Hero 10, which I have, or the Hero 8, actually, which is what I have. So that's just a placeholder um, to give me about the right weight distribution. Quick little update on the uh, monitor build situation. That's what my living quarters looks like. Got a little edit going, watching some Sailing Brothers on the YouTubes there. Uh, and then over here are the nuts and bolts of it. Basically that's that little inverter that I uh, soldered together. I soldered two ends onto it. Uh, XT 60 ends these little yellow guys right here and then uh, so that takes 12 volts and it spits out 19 volts at 2 amps which is enough to run the monitor so then that wire goes down there along the back of the couch and it powers the monitor right there I got to tidy up these cables and everything and then I just have an HDMI cable that runs back to the laptop so that when I'm editing I can do I can do two monitor editing, editing, and it's a lot easier to edit, uh, and just nicer in general. And um, and yeah, if you haven't got, if you haven't checked out the Sailing Brothers, uh, I highly recommend these guys. Um, they're pretty much my favorite. Good morning, everyone. Oh, I can't wipe the smile off my face. Today is a big day. We are setting off in about an hour to cross the Atlantic Ocean to Pacific. <laughs> yeah so these guys basically are uh living my dream uh they're they're doing what i aspire to do they're out there sailing around the world and um i've been following them now for i don't know i've seen all their stuff i've watched all, everything they've done uh, they started off by going around england and uh, now they've just come across the atlantic ocean or in they're in the bahamas i think i'm not sure exactly where they are but um, excellent show. Definitely check them out. They're called the Sailing Brothers. Thanks so much for watching my captain's vlog. Be sure to check out my previous entries and thank you for liking and subscribing. It helps so much and I'm learning from the comments so keep it up. Thanks again for watching.